Hi, it's Alex. I wanted to talk about something a little bit less serious today, because my videos tend to be pretty serious, so I wanted to talk about ice cream, and just how much it stresses me out to eat an ice cream cone. This probably seems like the dumbest thing, but like, it's like everyone gets excited about ice cream, they're like, let's go get ice cream! And like, first of all, I don't, I don't like ice cream very much, like, it's sweet and it's creamy, I tend to like fatty foods that aren't very sweet, so like, ice cream can kind of satisfy me because of the fat, but like regular ice cream flavors, I just hate them. Like vanilla, strawberry, I hate them. I love nut flavors, like hazelnut, uh, butter pecan is okay, like black walnut if you ever find it. So they're these like weird flavors, that, that's what gets me really excited about ice cream. So for one, like I go to an ice cream shop and like, they don't have the stuff that I want. But then like the whole concept of an ice cream cone. Like, first of all, I don't really like eating ice cream out of a dish. Like, it's just, you have this dish and then you have to throw it out, and I'm just like, I don't like that, I want to eat it out of a cone. But the problem is like, in the United States at least, like, people fill up the cone so friggin' big. Like, you'll get this cone, and like, they just, you'll order the s smallest size possible, and they just like, pile massive amounts of ice cream on it. And first of all, I don't like ice cream that much, so I don't want to eat that much of it. And it's just gross, and it's like, you, you typically get ice cream in the summer, and so it's like, I have this, this ice cream cone, and I'm holding it, and it's like, it's starting to melt all over the place, and it gets sticky, and like, I hate getting sticky things on me, so it's just like, this whole thing is just so stressful, I really dislike it. And I'm like, it could be a better experience. Like, I had, uh, I had a waffle cone the other day. I love places that allow you to get like, a kid size, so they're barely giving you any ice cream at all, and put it inside a waffle cone. So it's just like, one little scoop goes in this giant cone, that's perfect. Another thing that I don't like, and I just really don't get this, like, I'll get a cone, like a waffle cone, a sugar cone, stuff like that, that's what I like, and it'll have like, friggin' paper around the bottom. And I'm like, the whole reason that I want to get a cone like that, and not a dish, is that I don't want to have to throw something out, I want to just eat the whole thing and be done. And like, what do I do? The first thing I do is I take the paper off. I'm like, who the hell had the idea of putting paper on an ice cream cone? Like, what the heck? Okay, and here's another pet peeve of mine, like with these cones, the paper is always glued on. And like, I know they're probably using something edible in the glue, like it's probably just sugar or something else edible, but like, just the idea of eating glue grosses me out. And so like, I having this cone, and like, it's already a stressful experience to begin with, because it's ice cream, I don't like it very much, it's hot, it's dripping all over the place, and there's this friggin' paper, and I'm trying to get the paper off, and then it's like the paper is glued on, I'm just like, who the hell thought this up? It's just the dumbest thing. Okay, and I want to share one last thing, just to leave you all with, and that is that I have noticed that some ice cream places can be really sensitive about how you refer to the different types of cones, in a way that I think is totally unnecessary. So like, typically you have three types of cones. You have waffle cones, which I like, you have sugar cones, actually if you're from South Central Pennsylvania, like me, you also have pretzel cones, which are cool. But then there's this, this normal default type of cone, which I like to refer to as a cardboard cone. Now, last time I was unfortunately forced to eat one of these things because they were out of waffle cones and sugar cones, we had this exchange, it worked like this, like I was like, hey, like, can I get such and such flavor in a waffle cone? They're like, I'm sorry, we're out of waffle cones. And it's like, okay, well can I get it in a sugar cone then? And they're like, I'm sorry, we're out of sugar cones. And I was like, well, I guess I'll have to get it in a cardboard cone then. And they're like, what? That's not a cardboard cone, it's called a cake cone. And I looked at the person, I was like, it doesn't taste like cake, it tastes like cardboard. And the person was so offended, and I'm like, why do you need to be offended about this? Like, it tastes like cardboard to me, it doesn't taste like cake. Like, why is it called a cake cone? I have no friggin' idea, maybe because it makes it sound more appetizing? Seems like false advertising to me. So yeah, that's the last thing I have to say about ice cream, so I hope you know a little bit more about me as a person from watching this video about ice cream and how I feel about it. 
Thank you.